When we left our project in episode number 54, it looked pretty much like this. Now I want to take this piece of alder and see if I can make it look like it belongs to the bowl. Hello, welcome back to the tiny trailer workshop. I have no idea whether this is going to work or not. Um, I'm hoping it will. What I want to try and do is make a, a lid for the last bowl that I made. So, let's see what we can do here. Sorry, I made a few poor decisions as far as the light settings on the camera were concerned. try and come up with something here. Um, what I would like I had at first thought to leave this part out, as I'm sure that the proper method of doing this goes a lot differently than what, how I did it. But it was all part of the process for me, so here's my first attempt at it. set up for working on the bottom. Thank you. 
get sidetracked by one of those byproduct things you can end up with. So another error on my part that was pointing the right way for the last shot. I just forgot to reset it. But I got lucky and got most of it. Oh, and by the way, the finial is Japanese plum. So here it is from all the angles, and I think it turned out rather well. The inside of the lid where the finial comes through is rather punky and was tearing out too badly to do more with. So I filled it with ebony and CA glue, and it matched the color fairly closely. And you can still see the bottom of the finial there as well. When the first coat was dry, there were spots where the finish had been soaked up, so it was back to the shop for another coat of lacquer. It looks good now. Thanks for watching. This has been 